Woo, I got a little baby winter haul for you. Nothing crazy, but I really like these pieces. I got a little bit of everything. Some jeans, some trousers, some blazers, some knitwear, even some shoes. Uh, so let's get into it. If you're new here, my name is Devony, and thanks so much for tuning into Short Not Sweet. Getting dressed is my favorite part of the day, so I love talking about it. Let's get into this haul. Now, we'll start with the knitwear. I have been feeling like I'm missing sweaters in my wardrobe, so I went to Marshall's a, a few weeks ago, and I picked up a couple of niche turtlenecks. Um, Nothing too crazy. This is like an eggplant turtleneck. You can't really see it here, but I'll show you in the cutaways. I got this color. I also got red. Um, and I, I got this probably in December. So this was great for around Christmas time. I mean, it's great for all the time. And it also has like these little button details on the sleeve. Love those. I also bought a sweater dress from Uniqlo. They had a sale, I think around the holidays. Um, and so I got this. I probably got this for like $20. You know, this dress helped me realize I think I'm not a big fan of sweater dresses anymore. I feel like they're not as versatile as I want them to be. So, I don't know. This might be my last sweater dress. But I do like this. It's like a really nice, it's really long. It's a really nice knit. Um, yeah. I don't regret it, but I'm not, I don't think I'm going to buy more sweater dresses. I guess shopping can sometimes teach you lessons, right? And that is what I have learned from this purchase. Now, getting into some things I got from Amazon. Karen Britchick, a very popular YouTuber, she's on Instagram, TikTok, she put out her, uh, her Amazon, the drop, I think it was her third collection, and I got a few pieces from that collection. That lit, you know what? I feel like just because you have great style doesn't mean you're a great designer, but she is a great designer. Like, she just like, she's got her finger on the pulse. I feel like she just knows like, you know, what, what's gonna work in people's wardrobes. She has just, all of her collections have been very, very wearable. So I, I just, I kinda went a little crazy. I only got three things, but that's crazy for me. Um, I got this thing here. This is like a shirt, but you can wear as like a jacket and the sleeves are really cool. I like how big and billowy they are. Um, they have like little pockets on the sleeves. It's just a really great shirt. It has really great detailing on it. I love the buttons that are kinda brown. I love this shirt, I think it's so great. I, just, I think it's lined. Like, it's really great quality. This is Amazon. Miss Karen, you went off, girl. I really love it. Goes great with jeans. Um, and then I got the trousers from the collection. These were the, uh, you're not gonna be able to see it here, uh, but I got the tan ones. And I also got the black ones um, because I really needed tan trousers. But then I saw the black ones and I said, you know what, you need those too. Now these were really long on me. I'm short and not, and <laughs> <laughs> but not sweet as my name suggests on here um so I had to hem them and I did like I basically cut them myself and you know like that hemming tape that you can iron onto the bottom of pants I did that for both of these and they turned out really well so I'm very proud of myself and you know I think doing this project and I've done this a couple of other times I really want to learn how to sew this year because this is a project I think I can do really well with a sewing machine I really want to um also learn how to make some of my own clothes because I sometimes have ideas for things and I want to be able to make it. And I see people online, like, I don't consider myself a jealous person. But when I see somebody come on TikTok or something and be like, hey, look at this thing I made. I'm like, first of all, who do, you, who do you think you are? How dare you, first of all? Like, people are so freaking talented. So I like, I want to be in, I want to get in on that. So I want to sew this year. And these pants kind of really uh, inspired me to do that. So I don't know. I really love these. I've worn these quite a few times now. Especially like the beige ones. I don't know. Love them. And I also think those are probably my last cargo pants. I don't think I need anything. <laughs> when the cargo trend passes, I will have gotten everything I need from it because nothing else. I need nothing else. Now, the next two things are jeans. And I have had the both of these jeans on my wish list for like, I don't know, like six months. Something crazy. I've been watching these damn jeans. And I finally checked um, both of them off during the Christmas sales. They finally went on a little bit of a sale. Not enough, but a little bit of a sale. Now, the first ones I got are these Ayla jeans. These are by Citizens of Humanity. Again, you can't see them, but they're like a tapered jean and they have a cuff in them, like a pretty prominent cuff. I got them in the wash Bravo because I don't really have any dark wash denim. And this is like the perfect, like deep blue, a little bit of, what's this called? Whiskering or something in it. I really love them. They have a button fly, you know, um, I don't I really like them i have to say i don't understand i've seen a lot of like button fly slander online recently i do not understand the button fly slander as a person that worries too much i'm always worried that my zipper is down 
When I have a button fly, I never worry about that. As soon as I start to panic, I think, wait a second, Dev, you have a button fly. Of course you button your pants up. Don't even worry about it. So these are very good for my mental health. That's how I justify the cost. They're very good for my mental health. <laughs> anyway, these are my Sins of Humanity, as I said. Have worn these multiple times. Absolutely love them. I got these from Revolve. Um, no, I got these from Forward. I think they're basically the same company, but you know what I mean. Um, the next pair that I got are these. You can't really tell, I don't think, um, in, the, in the camera. But these are a gray pair of horseshoe jeans. Also by Citizens of Humanity. Also a button fly. These are my pride and joy. I love these so much. Um, again, I just really love the wash of these. I love the horseshoe shape. I have these same jeans in a different wash, like in a brown beigey color. And I um, I just adore those jeans. And so I wanted to get them in this cinder. That's what they call it. They call this cinder. And I don't have any gray jeans. So this, and it's like a, I have to say, it's like a bluish green gray. You know, it's not like a, uh, like a, cle like a, it's not like a, I don't know, like a deep gray. It's very light. But there's like a greenish grayish tone to it i think it's beautiful but it's definitely something to know because i don't think it comes across it's not like an ash gray it's not that because i think that's how it comes across online when you see it but it's not that uh, so something to keep in mind i think i'm gonna do a, a, a barrel leg jean like whole roundup a whole video about that because i love this cut of jeans so much um but yes would definitely recommend these absolutely adore these the next thing that I got was this blazer. And I got this blue pinstripe blazer. This is from And Other Stories. And Other Stories had their Christmas sale. I think I got it for 60 or 70 bucks. I think, and it retails for, I don't know, close to 200 probably. Great, great quality. I think this is wool. Um, I can't find the tag, um, but it has like this little interior pocket. There's exterior pockets too, but I haven't opened them. I don't know, it just looks really good. And I really hit the ground running with this. I got these this in a size six. I'm usually between a four and a six. The six is perfect. It's not too oversized, absolutely beautiful. I have worn this multiple times now. I really love this, it's great. And it's a beautiful, like dark navy, like it's perfect, absolutely adore it. The next thing that I got was from Madewell and I've been watching this blazer for a while. Um. And it is, I've been wanting a houndstooth blazer. And this is a double-breasted houndstooth blazer. I believe it's the Rosedale. Um, and I really, I love this blazer too. I haven't worn this one yet. Um, this is, let's see, crafted an Italian fabric. I believe this is a wool blend. I think this is, yeah, this is 60% recycled wool, 30% polyester, 60%, 6 excuse me, polyamide. Um, it's lined, also has a little interior pocket, although it's, it's closed. It's a great blazer. Really good. Has a little bit of a shoulder pad little moment. When I wear this blazer, I feel like I'm CJ Craig from West Wing. I'm doing a, a like binge of that show right now. So <laughs> all my references are from that show. Okay, and the last two items are shoes. Let's get into that. The first pair are these, these <laughs> crystal covered kitten heel boots i don't need no boots but my god get into these and these are from madewell i think these are the dimes kitten heel boots that's what they call it oh my goodness so <laughs> i've been watching these for months and trying to talk myself out of these um but i just couldn't they finally went on sale and i said you know what I think you have to have them. I think you have to have them. Now, if these, I think they might be sold out. But if they do ever come back in stock, I would say size up a half a size, especially if you have wider feet like I do, because you see the toe box is pretty narrow. But they didn't have a size, a half a size up when I got this, so I ended up just getting my true size. And I wish, I wish I had sized up a little bit. Um, but they're so, they're so okay. They're, they're decent. They were never going to be super comfortable just because they are pretty narrow in the heel. The actual, excuse me, in the foot. The actual heel is fine. It's it's not bad at all. Um, there's not like a lot of cushion or support, so it's not that kind of shoe. But I think it's so beautiful. I love the pointed toe because like you wear like a really long trouser and like the crystal covered toe is like poking out a little bit. I just think they're great. I just think they're great. And if you like this silhouette, but the crystals are a lot for you, 
They come in like black leather. They come in um, like a brown leather. They, they come in like a cheetah print. Like there's so many options. So definitely check out Madewell and just know that they go on sale. So you don't have to pay full price. And the last item that I have, I have been wanting a pair of non boots um, for the fall and winter and also for the spring. So I decided I wanted to get a pair of loafers and I ended up buying two. I bought a pair from Kohan, which I ended up returning because I really liked this pair from Ghani. And these are the Ghani crystal embellished loafers. Um, I guess I'm kind of a Ghani girl. These are my second Ghani shoes of the season. Um, they have like this weird, like square toe, square, no, the, the toe is square. I don't know why I don't know the difference between a toe and a heel. Anyway, the heel is also square. It's just a really cool shoe. It's very cool. I have to say, um, they're very comfortable. Um, Ghani does not do half sizes, it seems like. So I got this in my true size. I actually bought it a size down first because loafers tend to like lift. My foot tends to lift in loafers at the back. And these, I don't know what it is. I had to return the 36 because that was way too small. I was squeezing too much. Um, and I got a 37, which is my true size. They, they're great. Like, they're perfect. They fit so great. My heel doesn't lift. They're not tight in the toe box, I think, because it's square-toed rather than that more narrow toe. It's great. The leather is, like, pretty substantial, too. It's not like that really thin leather that you see on some loafers like it's i i had resigned myself to like the fact that loafers were just going to be a little tight especially in the beginning i was like that's just how it is i tried on so many loafers and i was like this is just how they are and then i tried these on and i'm like what? it's i'm almost suspicious i'm like why are they so comfortable like i i'm like literally sometimes i'm like what is the catch on these i don't know i've yet to find a catch i've worn them multiple times in the maybe three weeks I've owned them. Uh, unfortunately, you know, it's winter, so sometimes it's snowing, so I haven't been able to wear them that often. But the times I've worn these, I've gone walking into the city, all kind of things, fine. They've been really fine. They're great. They're wearing in nicely. You see the leather starting to crinkle a little bit. They're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. I would definitely recommend these. I know they come in a number of colors as well. I would 100% recommend these. I don't know, where did I get these from? Oh, I got these in the Netta Porter sale and I got them, I think they were 50% off. And then Netta Porter had like an extra 20% off of that. So these were like, I think they resell for around $500. I got them for like 200, like just fabulous. Absolutely love these. So I would definitely recommend them if you're thinking about it. That is all for my haul. That is, I feel like I did pretty good. Like I haven't shopped too much. I've tried to do these like quarterly hauls, or like collective hauls. And I think I did pretty good. And all these were kind of in line with what I've been trying to add to my wardrobe. Like, pretty intentional. The boots were the slip up here, but pretty, pretty good. I'm proud, I'm proud of myself. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, hopefully this was fun. If it was, maybe you consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. You can also check me out on my website, shortnotsweet.com. I'm also on TikTok, at shortnotsweetdevany. Thank you so, so much for watching. And please, please take care of yourself. Bye.